All right, guys, so we've got the XL Burst um, grenade from Airsoft Innovations here. Uh, I've already got the Tornado one set up here. We'll try that in a little bit once it warms up because it says that they recommend you wait 15 minutes for it to warm up. Um, so while we're waiting for that, let's check the Burst grenade out. So packaging, once again, pretty nice. Um, XL Burst grenade, simu simulation flashbang, 125 decibels, super obnoxious. Uh, CNC aluminum canister it looks like 30 burst elements included so I guess the disc itself um, kit contains banger grenade 125 decibels at 5 foot boom robust CNC machine solid hard anodized finish reliable and sensitive impact trigger mechanism easy to reset cheap consumable very low cost per use simple safety pin to pull they've got the grenade oil just like with the tornado grenade itself and then the burst elements Tailored specifically for maximum possible loudness, no dangerous fragments, ejected during detonation, 30 burst, burst elements included. Uh, your warning, as always, please read carefully. This is a serious risk of personal injury, death, or property damage arising out of the use, misuse of this product. By using this product, you agree to freely accept and fully assume such risk. Bang, bang to win. Command their attention and make their ears ring with this CNC machine aluminum impact banger grenade. Loud, strong, and easy to reset. So, made in Canada, patent pending. Let's open this thing up and let's see what it does. If I can get it open. It does not want to open for me. Let's take a pen, pop the tab, pop the tab, there we go. Uh, I'm going to say just right now with this thing in the box, it's hefty. There's some weight to this. So if you bash somebody in the head with this or you whip it around and you crush somebody in the skull, it, it's going to hurt. There's no doubt in my mind. Does this inner sleeve come out? It does not. It just looks like it pops open. Let's get all that out. Construction. Ooh, there's a patch in here too. Super obnoxious airsoft innovations. So that's a good patch. I like that. Instructions of use, so we'll open that up. That way we can see what we need to do. Basic instructions. How to use instructions. Let's go take a look. We've got another one of the oils. I've already got one that's open here, so we're going to keep that one. Some stickers for it that way you can help identify um, and it has the instructions on refilling it as well so it looks like we also got a couple extra safety bands replacement bands that would go around the fill valve all right so they want to make sure pressure check so let's see we got that stuff these must be the burst disc themselves um, little just a little disc of plastic is all it is um it kind of reminds me of the 3d glasses stuff the plastic that they use for the 3d glasses it's just a little plastic disc all right guys so we're going to get the, the burst grenade prepped here um pretty simple setup you can pull the main pin out you're going to undo the bottom core so the first thing you want to do is if you've already used it find your fill valve Push on the fill valve. Make sure there's no pressure already met at all. It's still sitting in there. So let's unscrew the top. So with these, this there's a bunch of never sees on there. Um, as you can see, I've got some never sees on my hand uh, that are on a thread. So this stuff is a pain in the butt to get off. Um, so you can clean it off a little. I don't. I don't recommend taking it all off, but. Never Seize does get pretty nasty, and it's a very, very big pain in the butt to get off some things. Um, so in order to lock this one down, you're going to press on the pin inside. There's a knot, a little dot here on the top of the grenade itself. We need to push the pin up to that dot, and then release. So you're going to push up, push it over to that dot, release. It's going to hold itself. The pin itself, the safety pin itself, is going to hold it in place so you don't have an accidental discharge while running around. So we're going to put that in, wipe off a little bit of the extra never sees here. 
Now what you're going to want to do, my fingers are a little bit too big so you may need a tool to do this. You're going to push this valve up towards the top from the bottom here. So we're going to get it set up, centered, push it up. We want to get it flush or flush so we're good to go there. We're going to screw on the top. Tighten it down, fill valve, we're going to fill. Set it upside down, you're going to grab one of your burst discs, and we're going to pull that out. Now these things um, are very sticky, st you can get them static cling to you pretty easy, but we're going to take a burst disc and we're going to set it into the bottom housing of the burst grenade itself. So we're going to make sure it's flush against, the, there's a ridge in here, um, it's a ridge right against the edge you're going to sit against, that way when you put the cap on you tighten it down. When you tighten it down, it is actually going to clamp that disc in. So you're going to want to make sure it's tight. If it's not tight, the disc will slip out. Then the disc itself will have some tension to it. So your burst grenade now is loaded, ready to go. All right, next one. We have the burst XL grenade. So load it, we're going to it in, and we're going to see what we can do to get this one to go. That was a pretty decent sound. Um, I don't think it was 125 decibels. I know the Thunder Bee grenades, they have, they've got a louder bang than that, so I don't think that was quite 125 decibels. But All right, guys, so we tested out the Burst XL. Um, as you can see, what it did is it actually ripped the disc out from where it was sandwiched in. Uh, these discs are pretty thin, so you know it just pulls until it pops. Um, maybe able to tighten it down a little bit more to get it to stay until it burst, but like I said, this wasn't as loud as I thought it was going to be. Um, I wasn't really impressed with the amount of volume it put up. And then I have a couple other concerns. This is the weight of this thing. Um, so there's still some air in there. There we go. The, the weight of this thing is it's pretty hefty, and if you're throwing this to get it to go off, um, that becomes a huge safety concern with this, especially if you're throwing it into a room that you don't know what's in there yet, or who's in there yet, or where they're at. So this one, you have to be a little bit cautious there. Um, the other thing I dislike is that the never sees itself. You can clean it up a little, wipe it off, but... It's a little excess there uh, that needs to be cleaned off. And then the disc, if I'm trying to reload this in the middle of a game, especially if we're doing Milsim events, um, normally I have my gloves on. You know, these are just not my favorite thing. This little thin piece of plastic here, getting it all set up, uh, it takes a delicate task to get it set in the position right and everything. Um, this is not my favorite. So, Overall, I, I'm not a huge fan of the Burst XL. Uh, it should be cheaper to run than, say, the Hakatsu Thunderbee sound grenades. But I don't think this is louder than the Hakatsu. Um, and I think this is a little more maintenance heavy than the Hakatsu. Uh, and then, like I said, the weight of it is it's actually heavy compared to the size of it. So that's, that's my only thing. Um, personally, would I run these? Probably not. I, like I said, not loud enough. I think it, it's, it could stand to be a little bit louder. And it may be, you know, you may be able to double up on a burst disc. Maybe I'll try two burst discs. It's probably frowned upon there. Um, but that may be what I do is just to build the pressure a little bit more, see if it can handle two burst discs. Um, but just the sound, the bang wasn't there for me. So this is something I would personally pass on with everything going on with it. If you guys have any questions on this, please leave it down in the comment section below. If you could, like, thumbs up, share, subscribe. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. If you have one of these, let me know your opinion. Let me know if you figured out any tricks on how to you know, make them a little bit better or what worked for you. But thanks for watching, guys.